Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I am your host and Dungeon Master, Sharson Zero, and today I'm joined by Azure Wolf, Blind Oracle, Longfish, and Fear No Equal. Together we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the fifth encounter in an IB Slayer, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand. Holding a plus two longbow, using plus one arrows, having a instrument of the bard slung across my back, I have 139 out of 139 hit points. We have used the instance of fairy fire on the instrument of the bards. 110 out of 110 hit points, one charge on the wand of magic missiles, four first level, two second, three third, three fourth, two fifth. Arcane recovery has been used. Currently at 138 hit points, I am holding the Staff of Python and Shield plus 2. 2 level 1, 2 level 2, 2 level 3, 1 level 4, 2 level 5, and 1 level 7 spell slot remaining. I have both charges of Channel Divinity. 172 of 172 hit points. We're carrying a Great Axe plus 2. Toting around our two circlets of blasting, one on the head, one in the pocket. Second Wind and Action Surge available, both uses of Indomitable. And I've actually still got a Javelin of Lightning floating around that I have not used yet. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. This encounter has a Tiger Demon. Tiger Demons are fiends that travel throughout the multiverse, manipulating as they see fit. They are vulnerable to piercing damage from magic weapons wielded by good creatures. That will apply to the rogue's arrows and the fighter's pike attack. They're otherwise immune to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks. They have a number of spell casting abilities and they have claws. Their claws do a little bit of damage, but if they hit you, you are cursed. Spectating over this fight are two Lesser Ibis. Lesser Ibis have a passive perception of 16 and a maximum perception of 26. So Rogue, you're gonna have to make those rolls. They can throw two eye rays at you. They can choose from confusion, paralysis, fear, and wounding. They can also reflect spells back at their casters if the spell misses them or if they succeed on their saving throw against it. Terrain. Terrain in this fight is much like the other fights. There's a couple of pieces of difficult terrain floating around. There's a bridge above you going across this chasm. Tactics. Any thoughts for tactics in this fight? Definitely want to get into close combat with that tiger demon. I'm going to swap over to my pike. You're going to have to do that in combat. I intend to do that. Can you guys deal with the lesser eye beasts? Give it the old college try. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to solo the tiger, so I would appreciate support fire from the rogue. One good sneak attack should obliterate the tiger demon. If we do obliterate it real fast, I'll circle back around and try and cover him. I would love a haste if wizard goes before me. That's the plan, I think, right at the beginning here. Let's go ahead and roll some initiative. Good job, tiger demon. Done did good. Anybody have higher than a 20? Oh, that's good to hear. Anyone have between a 15 and a 20? 20. 20.5. 20. 19 minus 1. You animal. 17 for the tiger demon. What do you got for me, fighter? 14. And what do you got for me, owl? 12. Well, Tiger Demon, you definitely tried. You got your numbers up there, but they weren't good enough. Wizard, what do you got? Haste on the fighter via a scroll. And that's a tunnel to the south or no? It's on a bridge. So there's a bridge right in front of you guys. And then there's a tunnel at the end of the bridge. Okay, yeah, I want to get under the bridge. After the wizard, we go to the rogue. Hang on, we're trying to figure out a way to hide and not get shot by eye beasts in the back. It's not going well. All right, bonus action. Click my heels, double my speed. Action. Use magic device, haste myself. So now my speed is ridiculous speed. 100? Yeah, yeah. Ludicrous. It takes me 18 squares, but go ahead and put me right there. That's a move, a standard, a bonus. I have a haste action that I can't really use. Can you dodge with it? I cannot take the dodge action, but I can take the hide action. Now that's a 25. Clear. Can we see the eye beast from here? You do not have it line of sight. They're up a cliff and then back into a tunnel. Okay. I'll chuck a Guiding Bolt at the Tiger Demon, first level. Limited magic immunity. The Tiger Demon cannot be affected or detected by spells of 6th level or lower unless it wishes to be. So it will choose not to be affected by that. I, oh, they can just dodge that. Okay, never mind. That's the case. I bless myself to fighter at the wizard. I'll move forward my maximum speed. Tiger Demon's going to advance to there with his 40-foot move. He's going to throw a dominate person on the fighter. Can counter counter that with his immunity or no? No, it cannot. He has a DC 18 wisdom saving throw. This is a wisdom, so advantage. That's 12. We're going to indomitable this. 
that's a nine. So we're gonna wind up taking it. While the target is charmed, I have a telepathic link with it. I can use the link to issue commands, and you do your best to obey. You can use your action to take total and precise control over the target. Each time the target takes damage, it makes a new wisdom saving throw against the spell. So he's going to instruct you to kill the wizard. If he starts to move towards me, I'll drop concentration. That's the tiger demon. Floating balls of fun. It's going to go down here, float downward, and blast the wizard. Wizard, give me a DC 13 constitution save versus wounding. It is a 16, sir. 16 will pass. You're going to take half of this. Half of 15 is 7. Concentration save. 12. Then he'll do a paralyzing ray on the cleric. Cleric, give me a DC 13 constitution versus paralysis. 16 plus 4, dirty 20. Dirty 20, that'll pass. This guy's going to float down over there. Same thing. Cleric, give me a DC 13 constitution versus paralysis. 13 plus 4, 17. 17 will do it. Wizard, DC 13 constitution versus wounding. C, 13 on the hit. Another 15 goes to 7. Another concentration save. 16. After that, we're going to go to the fighter. I have to advance towards the wizard. You advance towards the wizard. Wizard, what do you do? Drop concentration. And when haste ends, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn as a wave of lethargy sweeps over it. I'm going to call it this one. After the fighter is the owl. Let's move in and aggravate the tiger over there for the rogue. After that, we're going to go to the wizard. Eye beast in the southwest here. It's going to fill some magic missiles. Fourth level. And that is a three. Three plus one is four. Four plus five is nine. Nine times six is 54. He drops. Let's move south. He said there's a tunnel there. There's a tunnel on top of the bridge. So you're underneath the bridge at the moment. You just want to back up into the corner or something? Yes. After the wizard is a rogue. We're going to move out and shoot the tiger demon with advantage. Crit. Good night. So you one-shot at a tiger demon. Yeah. How's it feel? It feels great. Just throw that out there. So that's 69 points of damage. First of all, nice. Second of all, it is vulnerable to magical piercing damage from good creatures. That's going to double up to 138. You broke the record. You blasted the record. You just one shot a tiger demon. <laughs> Fighter, you are no longer dominating. Yep. And you're hasted. I got things to do here, apparently. Places to be. <laughs> and demons to shoot. So let's go ahead and move behind the mushroom. Bonus action to hide. A 35 to hide from the eye beast. Man likes his 20s. Move forward one to the north and shoot at the eye beast. 30 to hit. 30 will hit. For 12 points of damage. I can only trigger sneak once per. Correct. So let's go ahead and move back behind the mushroom. After the rogue, we go to the cleric. I don't want to magic that thing. I'm just going to run up there and bonk it with my staff. Or move. 19 to hit. 19 hits. I do a total of 12 damage. After the cleric, we go to the remaining balloon. Balloon is going to throw an attack at the wizard. Wizard, give me a DC 13 constitution save versus wounding. 12. I'm going to take full damage. You can take 17 points of necrotic damage. Cleric, give me a DC 13 constitution save versus paralysis. 17. 17 will pass. You are not paralyzed. I'm not going to eat the opportunity attack. I'm going to move on to the fighter. Close in on the eye beast. I finally get to contribute. Look, I tried to get you to contribute. Attack number one. That's a 13 to hit. 13 misses. Yeah, 13 probably misses. Second attack. That is a 22 to hit. Hits. For 18 damage. Drops. Way to go, fighter. Report hit points. 79. 139 out of 139. 138 out of 138. 172 out of 172. Any end of encounter actions? Does anyone want a unicorn? What? Sorry, a <laughs> unicorn? Like, to ride? Yeah, I could conjure Celestial. Okay, I have a magic pike. I could be the knight in shining armor just for <laughs> one day. If we have to choose from, like, core manual, it's either Koatoa or a unicorn. I think that's, like, the most useful, too. You mean Koatl, not Koatoa. <laughs> I was going to say, Koatl. <laughs> celestial Koatoa. You summon a Celestial CR4 or lower. It's going to be a Pegasus, a Koatl. Oh, Unicorn's five. Maybe I was looking at Pegasus. Yeah, so you can have a Pegasus, which is a, a flying horse. Still badass. Or you can have a Koatl, which is a flying snake. But it's medium-sized, you can't ride it. I can. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you going to cast it? Get the Koatl. Yeah, conjure Celestial and get a Pegasus. Oh, you want the Pegasus. Cool. Do you guys want Pegasus or Quaddle? Pegasus is probably better. The Quaddle CR4. Actually, if nobody really needs to ride it, then we might as well bring the Quaddle. Yeah, bring the biggest hitting thing. I'll use my level 7 spell slot and get a Quaddle. On behalf of anyone who speaks Nahuatl and is listening, we apologize. 
Anybody else have anything that they want to do? Anybody need healing? Not really. I'm only missing 31. That's it. So, no. With their new divine snake friend in tow, the adventurers are going to make it into the end of the dungeon, the final lair of the eye beast, confront it, kill it, and take all of its stuff. Five encounters down, one more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarsen Zero, and I will see you next time.